Welcome back to the Red Oak Barn Kitchen, you guys. Good afternoon, good evening uh, to all of our live family and to our YouTube family. We're so happy to have you guys back. So just enjoying a Sunday evening here in the kitchen. Woke up this morning. I was a little bit uh, out of sorts this morning when I first woke up and kind of wondered <laughs> what I was going to do, you know, um, for the day. And so I just kind of got up and decided to work on a few more jams you know we're always busy here uh, at Roto Barn Kitchen so I just decided to crank out a couple more jams did a couple of mangoes which by the way you guys have been really really hot people love um, our mango uh, jam preserve they really really love it um, it's really hot um, and also another flavor that people are really taking a liking to is our berry flavors so if you haven't uh, placed your order for any of those um, just know that we've been super busy with trying to get our online um, availability for our jams up and running for you guys as well so that is definitely coming some more exciting news we also um, I remember we touched bases with you guys before remember we went to the farmers market and we were saying that we had been selected to do the business presentation so now a news update for that we actually were selected you guys so now we have been selected to actually be one of the vendors one of the merchants there for the Dallas farmers market at the shed so really really big um, you know that's really really big news for the Red Oak Barn um, so those of you guys who are in the Dallas area that are near us um, we are going to be there live and in color so we're so excited for that so if you guys are in those areas surrounding areas definitely come on out to um, the shed where we're going to be at um, we'll definitely let you know on the actual day that we're going to be there but we're so very excited um, that's really big news for us um, and, and also before she goes forward the website is going to be officially launching tonight at midnight central right. standard time www.redoakbarnjams.com redoakbarnjams.com so yes, get on that, you guys. Um, just so excited. So speaking of even more exciting things that are coming because we've got so many things going, we were at the grocery store the other day, and you know we're always trying to think of new and innovative flavors to bring to you guys. We're always trying to push the limits of our flavors and see what we can bring new, you know, to the jamming world, as we want to call it. Um, my husband had a beautiful suggestion and I said you know what I never thought about that we were passing by in the produce section collecting different things and he looked at some nectarines and he said you know what babe what if we do a nectarine jam I said you know what I never thought about that and it's my favorite fruit so I'm like it's one of his favorite fruit you know what and I really <clears throat> like nectarines too I actually like nectarines more than I like peaches yeah for real they taste way better than peaches yeah and you know nectarines especially when they're nice and ripe and sweet nectarines have a bit of a stronger flavor peach is actually more delicate in the flavor it's, it's more subtle um, even when you're you know using it in a, um, a dish however you choose to use it peach has more of a, a more of a delicate flavor whereas nectarine has more of a strong uh, flavor it actually is a little bit more um, has a slightly more uh, tangy flavor than um, peach does and so we grabbed a couple of nectarines, we wanted to do a test batch, and let me tell you guys, honey, this is amazing. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is fire. The wife came in and she's like, baby, taste this. She gave me a, a like a little taste of it, and I was speechless. It was, yeah. I mean, it was, it was really that good. For those of you guys that are peach lovers, are peach jam lovers, you guys might... I don't know. This might knock the thanks, peach thanks out the way. <laughs> thanks, Auntie Alita. I appreciate that. Yeah, this 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 might this might do it for you right here. It's like peach on steroids, almost. Would you say, maybe? Yeah, like, yeah, how would you describe it? Like, yeah, it it is definitely peach on steroids. Chanel said we should do the co uh, cotton candy grape one for a seasonal flavor. I think so. It's it's just that cotton candy grapes are so seasonal that it's yeah, so hard to get in contact seasonal. with. I mean, get them, but. Yeah, if we can get them now. The grapes we, are hard to get in contact with. Yeah, I know the grapes are. Yeah, they are. Right. Hello? Grapes, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm going to tell you guys, and I, and, I, and I kid you not, this nectarine tastes amazing. 
Like I can already tell you. Look at it, you guys. I, I think I would say out of all the ones that we sell, probably our two most popular ones. If I had to say top three, it's gonna be mango, uh, peach, and strawberry. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, this one is gonna probably be. That's probably on top of all of them. You think so, baby? Yes, I really do. Oh no. When when we'll I when see. I when I, t when I took that first uh, bite, <laughs> first uh, sip of nectarine. <laughs> when, that man. That just man. did it, right? This, yes. I mean, this is like it's amazing. This is so. Look, look at you guys. Look down in there. You guys have any questions about the jamming process or what we're doing? You know, feel free to comment in the in the comment section. And you know, as well as my people that'll see this uh, on YouTube later. Yeah, this. I mean, if this is like. I'm really, really thinking and predicting that people are gonna probably like the. You know what? You don't see a nectarine jam. No, you don't. Tell me, you guys, have you guys put in your comments? Have you guys ever heard of a nectarine jam? Let me know. Have you, I've never seen it. So have you? Yeah, a nectarine jam. Nectarine jam. I'm gonna tell you what the name of this official nectarine jam is gonna be now. <laughs> tell me what I already name. have a name because my husband invented it, and one of my many pet names for my husband <laughs> i call him nami you know because nami is part of dominic so i call him nami and so um <laughs> i said you know what this is going to be nami's nectarine nami's yep. nectarine nami's nectarine jam <laughs> yep man this nami's nectarine is going to take off <laughs> i'm telling you this is so good you guys the flavor is really strong in here What's your for for the people on there? What are you? What's your favorite jam? Just so we have an idea. What's yeah. a, a jam that you would like to see made, if you will, that you don't see in stores? Yeah, something uncommon. Look at that! That that look look at how beautiful that is. And I have this, you guys. I've got Th this. Thanks, on a, Destiny. I appreciate that, sis. Good luck on your homework. I got this on a low. God um, bless you. A low and slow. Um, you know, I can't say flames. This is like an electric burner, but I have it on a low and slow, um, like a medium high heat, because I have discovered, and you know, as you all know, with everything in life, you know, you always learn new things. You always learn how to improve, and one of the things that I've learned how to do to improve mm -hmm. um, in my jamming process is sometimes I've seen people cook their jams on high. I've actually learned to cut it down on like a medium high. Mm. Um, and I've learned also and have gotten better results. Um, I've actually scorched because you know there's always a, a part um, of cooking where you know you may you may scorch something, and I've done right. that before where I've scorched a batch of jam, and it's very upsetting, you know, because that's a waste of time, it's mm. a waste of money, you know, and you waste good fruit. So um, one of the things that I started to do was kind of really really cut my fire down and allow for my jams to kind of cook on a lower setting and it allows for them to actually go on and kind of slow cook in there it lets them thicken up and it allows for the fruit to soften up a lot better that's a pretty good secret yeah, yeah that's good. just low and slow it you know what i mean low no and rush. slow and you actually i've actually found that even if i've left it for you know maybe five minutes i'll go back to stir it and there's no i don't have that scorching on my pot as i would have had mm. if i would have like had it on like a really high flame mm. or like a higher you know a higher setting so mm. i've found that this works a lot better can i say this real quick and you know it's so funny my wife says that we have a jam that we're still testing folks it's uh it's the honey dew jam oh, yeah, and our too. watermelon jam we we pretty much got the watermelon almost where where it needs to be but um, this is for, for, for you all that want to make jams. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to watch it when you make do like, like melons yeah, like because it's a when, tricky. yeah, they're real, it's real tr tricky to make it to a jam, but you have to watch it cause they scorch real. I don't know what it is about a melon, but they scorch real easily and, and it has the nastiest taste when you scorch it. So it tastes like plants. Yeah. And, and, and that's why we haven't really offered that yet because we're trying to perfect that Correct. before we actually offer that to the public i have you know what honey i actually think i have a technique in mind that i want to i want to try and i'm thinking that maybe i may try off with starting to do like a start off with like a simple simple syrup first um and then um add the fruit monty monty says she like uh 
kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. It's funny. Oh, that was gonna be kiwi. one. That was funny because that was one of the first ones we were thinking about making. A, a, a kiwi fruit. Oh my god. You remember when we had picked you know those what? kiwis That's up? Inter- man, you know we might need to have do to that. Be my test taster for that. Yeah, we might have to do I'm that. I'm allergic to kiwi, you guys. I yeah, don't she know how like to be kiwi. Good. I can't. I love kiwi. It tastes so good. The fruit, but I can't have it, you guys. So I'm gonna have to have Dominique do the. The, uh, yes, I do it. it. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I think what maybe uh, probably try doing like a um, a simple syrup she, on it first. Yeah, and then my, um, you, you know, adding uh, adding the my, my stepmom, Miss Michelle said do Sorel. She said it's sold in stores as a Jamaican drink, but I'm sure it would make a great. Great jam, sure. Like I, Sorrel? I've never heard of that. Must be. I can tell you, Sorrel, you have. Man. That mm-hmm. sounds like one of those exotic fruit. Oh yeah. And they and a lot of times they cost so much money to get them that. Yeah, it'll have to probably like the, be like a limited edition. Yeah, because we have the prices sort of high because the fruit itself is Very like high. we try to do a, a dragon fruit. We actually did. We made a was a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. And a dragon fruit was so expensive that. Nobody would have paid that type of money yeah, for the jam, you know. Fruit. Certain fruits is just like, uh, uh <laughs> yeah, it would know. it wouldn't be cost if, if efficient. Yeah, because we you want know. it's like we want you guys to, because the thing about it is, you guys, when we price our products, we do keep in mind, you know, trying to be budget friendly and everything like that. But also, just know that when you buy a product from us, you're buying something that we put a lot of love and time. Uh, an effort into and also too these are things from start to finish everything is handmade handmade we're not you know there's no machinery involved it's just you know yeah, it's just us why, yeah. you know, we're doing this hand like right over the stove you guys can see this and uh, a, whole thing and the watermelon jam for example that's the one that I normally do that's why it's taking so long to make because I'm she'll <laughs> tell you I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist we gotta, perfectionist. we gotta get things right like if it if it's whack, it doesn't taste good. We're not going to offer that to the public. We don't want that whack attack around here. We don't want it. And so we had a couple of people said the I guess mango, uh, mango jam. You are you saying, Natalita, that, that you you uh, that's one you haven't seen in stores, or or that's one I've that never you seen like? Kiwi in, ever. Yeah, I've never seen kiwi. No, ever. she was saying mango. Oh, mango. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen a mango. I've seen, seen a mango, mango jams. Jam. Online, I want to say, but I've never seen a mango jam in a store. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen a mango jam anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I can't even recall seeing it on on online either. And Miss Sharon said purple grape. Oh, those, we those purple grape. Yeah, those are the ones that we actually make. And it's so funny when we first launched the company, we wanted to launch it with jams that people couldn't get in the store and it's so funny we had a couple i think purple but we don't actually sell a lot of purple because we don't even offer it to sell it i would say the most traditional jam that we sell a lot of is going to be the strawberry yeah people are like I, I don't know what it is about strawberry but just love it. people love the strawberry jam like like seriously love it like i think we probably only had maybe one person ask for grape jam yeah we'll probably do like well I mean, two that I can think of, like our friend, um, our friend brother Kevin, and then your auntie wanted like purple grape because she doesn't like. Oh, oh yeah, she was the only. Yeah, she think yeah. about she was the only person that asked mm-hmm. asked for it. But there are there are some grape lovers, grape jam, grape jelly lovers. Out. See, grape is one of those type of fruits that you can't do as a uh, spread or as a as a jam. She, it has to be done as a jelly she, because you don't want those grape skins in your stuff. She she said, uh, Aunt Lisa said she. Uh, she likes the mango, but she never seen the uh, she never seen the jam anywhere. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you're you're not really going to see that in the stores. And I can tell you, our mango. Ask anybody that tasted, it, tastes like you just. It tastes like you went to Fiji or somewhere <laughs> like a tropical island and picked a, a a mango right off the the tree itself, and you just ate it. That's so I mean, sweet. Yeah, it tastes amazing. It's so funny because. What was it? Um, we just had somebody order two batches of it, and she wanted to add tahini and add some spice tahini and some other stuff in it. We, yeah, it's funny because like a lot of people we get from like Africa, 
They love. They it love it. They and they they typically like eat it out the jar. She ate it right out of the jar. They just <laughs> they don't even like put on so because she no. said in Africa in the, in the Congo, there's some that's how they eat, eat their their jam. They have a dish that they just eat it like that. Yeah. And and it's so funny because a, a lot of people they eat our jam. She killed straight. that jar straight. She killed it real fast. They, we came back and asked for two more. She said blueberry jam. Yes, oh, we, we have blueberry. Oh yeah, we our have blueberry. Is on hit too. <laughs> We Which had somebody so Friday fun. just tell us that they love the blueberry more than anything else. Yeah, they love the blueberry. <laughs> and I have a, another um, another customer that I work with. She was a big fan of our blackberry. And um, she so she tried the uh, first jar of blackberry. And then right after that, she ordered some more of it. And then she asked to sample the blueberry, and now she wants <laughs> she wants the blueberry too. Absolutely, so I have to make sure I get that to her when I return that. So, babe, tell them real quick what's going on in the process right now, so they can sort of know what are you what are you what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm just I increased my um, heat level just a little bit. Um, this is a you know this is a large pot, so I did kind of increase it a little bit. But um, what I'm doing right now is just stirring it. Um, as you cook your jams and stuff, you do want to be mindful to stir it. That's how you kind of keep it from um, sticking to the bottom of the pan. Um, like I tell everybody, this is a um, an item that it, sh it has sugar in it, so the sugar burns, um, and it burns at high temp too as well. It's not, it's you know, it'll caramelize on you if you don't be careful. And and this is the reason she told you all earlier. She says uh, she said. So really cook it on a low because if you see right here, this is where it has to go. Mm -hmm. Once you once she puts it inside the jar, it's gonna cook somewhat inside of this pot. Yeah. And it's gonna good. it's gonna nat for about five minutes. It's gonna naturally seal. She's gonna take this out, and then you see over here she has the finished product. So you don't want to have the fire on too high here because if you have it on too high here. Then once you place it inside of the water bath counter, as you can see, all that nice hot water boiling there, it can burn. But to answer your question, I delete the end. It's faster. It's, it's twelve. It's twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for eight eight ounce. This is um, th and you'll actually burn it a lot faster in here because remember this is direct heat. Now the good thing about when you use a water bag canner, you can at least sit your jars on the candy rack. But when you're actually cooking it and you're in the cooking process, um, because you're working with sugar, remember sugar is gonna caramelize. It caramelizes and it makes a candy. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have maybe accidentally spilt some, you know, stuff over into the burner area, and that stuff it hardens like crazy. But, and you've got like a whole job on your hands trying to uh, get that mess out of there. So, but anyhow, you guys, um, this is what we got going on. We are so happy to touch bases with you guys. Please reach out to us. Um, visit our site um, tonight. Remember, redobarnjams.com. Check that out. See what flavors you like. And please leave us comments in the comment section about the different uh jams that you would like to see made we'll definitely try to experiment so, with those so, and get them out to you so she asked you where can I order you order from www.redoakbarnjams.com redoakbarnjams.com and here's the thing folks like we'll have other flavors up there like I think right now on the website we only have eight mm -hmm. um, uh, flavors on there however we will have more flavors on we have like way more than eight those are the eight that we just wanted to the first start out with on the store as a test yes. run but eventually you're going to see the nectarine up there the uh orange currant uh what were the other flavors down on there we've got orange grape currant. we've got grape we'll have and the orange the black orange currant spice Oh man, spicy. yes. That one is like a can of the holidays. So we're probably going to launch that more closer to the holidays. Um, but let's see, we've got that. There's also, um, is plum up there, honey? Yeah, we got the plum so up there. We have the plum. Yeah. Did we put the mango yet? Yes. The mango's there. Yeah, we, the have, there. We, we have a lot up yeah, there. Yeah, we have quite a few, yeah. you guys. So just, you know, stay tuned and stay on board with us, you know. We're going to be getting these cranked out to you guys. I'm and do us you. a favor, too. Go to our, our page, Red Oak Barn. Uh, go to our Facebook page, Red Oak Barn Jams. 
go to our uh, I'm sorry our YouTube channel Red Oak Barn the, the Red Oak Barn and a Facebook page uh, yeah. Red Oak Barn and you can see you know updates of like the different flavors we're gonna push out there and if it's something that you would like to see just like my stepmom said she wants to see the Sorrel we'll look into that and uh and that's also where you guys get cooking videos other cooking videos, just other videos of us cooking and stuff yeah. like that so. and, and plus we got a canning course too at www.theredoakbarn.com yeah. so god bless you guys bless you guys and i and i definitely write that in the comment section i love you god bless you guys love you guys thank you peace